Here we see a couple different injectors with their fuel delivery curves overlaid on top of each other, but what we're really looking at is the short pulse behavior differences between these injectors. What we've got here is one standard injector that came with the car that's a little bit lower flow rate. We have a higher flow rate option here in the blue, and we have an injector that was modified to flow more. And what it was is an injector that started out as this black line, and they modified it to get a slope that is closer to the blue line. And as you can see, the slope is indeed higher, but one of the unintended consequences of modifying the injector to get the slope similar was that this nonlinear behavior down here is radically different. You can see that both the blue and the black have similar characteristics, although different numbers and certainly different starting times here. But what's really impressive here is this red line and how nonlinear it is and how lazy it is to respond until it finally gets up on the flow rate. This is that nonlinearity that we saw with our thumb over the end of the hose, and this is reality for this injector. So if you intend to use this injector on your car, you need to make sure that the engine control computer actually has the appropriate calibration data in it to match this new injector. Obviously, if we just went from the black injector to the red injector, we get significantly different delivery behavior, and we may not give the injector or the engine the amount of fuel that we're really looking for when we're idling or cruising down the road.